गुड मॉर्निंग व्यूअर बी एन दस ए यूनाइटेड नेशन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल रेजुलेशन प्रोपोज बाय द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स कॉलिंग फॉर ए सिस फॉर टाइड टू द रिलीज ऑफ होस्टेजेस इन गाजा फाइल टू पास ऑन फ्राइडे आफ्टर रशिया एंड चाइना भेटो द ड्राफ्ट The rejected draft resolutions called for an immediate and sustained ceasefire in connection with the release of all remaining hostages. Washington had previously vetoed three prior UN resolutions calling for a ceasefire. The UN vote come amid resumed hostage talks in Qatar on Friday, and as U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived in Israel to meet with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as part of an intensive diplomatic push toward a ceasefire the us israel's most prominent defender on the world stage has faced severe criticism in arab countries and europe for its refusal to call for a ceasefire early in the gaza war as as its reluctance to translate its verbal criticism of israel's conduct in to diplomatic action 11 security council members voted for the resolutions but permanent members russia and china who have veto power blocked it israel ambassador to the un gilad ardern said the security council's decision not to condemn hamas is a stain that will never be forgotten meanwhile algeria which also rejected the resolution said the submitted text was not a clear message of peace and would have allowed for more palestinian civilians to be killed the us had previously rejected a ceasefire resolution put forth by algeria with the draft resolution washington was seeking to recover from international criticism of its support for israel experts say the resolutions included forcing that the us was unwilling to use before said frank lawstone who worked in as us special envoy for israeli palestinian negotiation under us president barack obama during the 2014 israel gaza war this referred to an immediate ceasefire which the former diplomat said was likely a bit to bring the us back from months of international isolation bien the support